15,000 Doncaster miners have lost their jobs. Although experts say there is plenty of coal left, it seems that no one wants to buy it. In an area where unemployment reaches 22%, the future looks pretty bleak for the men at Hatfield and Bentley Colliery who have been told they are not wanted anymore. It's feared other coal mining areas in our region will soon follow Doncaster and before long mining here will be confined to the history books. Sarah Dearden now reports from Bentley Colliery. I'm an ordinary man, nothing special, nothing grand. I've had to work for everything I own. Five o'clock in the morning, oh, Bentley's like miners preparing for the last shifts, bringing to an end the industry Doncaster was founded on. To keep my family and my home. What is the, uh, it's so a pump. No, everything has been built around 10,000, 15,000 miners in Doncaster. They're not there anymore. Worked here all my life in industry. I have got the foggiest idea what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm nearly 50. And it's. Uh, well, obviously, it's a big shock, isn't it? There'll never be an industry like this. It's not just a place that's closing down, this is the end of an era. The owner says he's sad to see the things have got so bad. But the cabinet no, 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 no coal coming out. There's no fires burning in power stations. Doncaster's oh, miners have been labelled militant in the past, always at the forefront of industrial action. Some say that explains the decimation of the industry here. Others say no one realises what is being lost. I think that the biggest tragedy about pit closures is that the men and the talents of the men will be lost forever. Um, and it's a tragedy. Uh, we have, I believe, the, the best set of miners in the country. Bentley Pit is nearly 100 years old. 3,000 men, all from the village, used to work here in its heyday. Everyone has their own individual memories. The village were alive. Eight minutes to six, bang, the buzzer used to go. Everybody could hear it, it's gone. You know what I mean, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's like a desert, isn't it? It was a marvellous place to live. As I say, everybody knew everybody else. Um, every door was open. I can't remember ever going to somebody's house and not being able to get in, whether they were in the house or not. Some of the older miners remember the disasters as well. 45 men died in an explosion in 1931 here. Bill Brooks narrowly escaped and helped to bury his friends. The last vehicle was leaving the church just about the first was approaching the cemetery it was that long 10 years ago doncaster had eight pits employing 13 and a half thousand men they've all now gone when bentley and hatfield close the region's traditional industry will be confined to the history books a few miles away from bentley the miners at hatfield were trying to come to terms today with what they knew was always going to happen I'm not sure I have coped yet, personally. Um, it keeps coming on to me in waves. It's a bit like um, a family bereavement, except it's rather than like losing all your friends, it's like losing yourself. And because uh, what we stood for and everything we believed in has now gone. Now it seems to me such a cruel irony. It's richer now than never he was before. My check is spent and I can't afford the rent. There's one law for the rich, one for the poor. Lads will work down to a uh, different type of people in the village. They're, they're, they're arts for everybody, lads are to it. They, uh, they all stick together, all that was wrong with people, put together. Anybody in any problems, they all back you up. I mean, you wouldn't miss all that. There's no jobs like it, no money-wise. Not for a non-trained man, anyway. Doncaster's mining industry came to an end today. With unemployment soaring in the area, many feel there's little hope now for those who would have followed in their father's and their grandfather's footsteps. I will watch my darling wife Trying to make the best of life God knows who 
what the kids are going to do. Well, the end of an era for Doncaster's mining community. Our industry correspondent, Nick Ward, reports on the end of an era. At Bentley Colliery today, the last shift goes underground. Almost 90 years of mining finally coming to an end. It's a bit depressing, really. You know, I've worked in mining industry all my life. It's basically all I know. But uh, there's not a lot I can do about it. Now we need 20 odd years. Look, met some good lads. I'm gonna miss a, miss a lot. You know, it's just a sad day, really. This is the lab cabin where they go up with a check, pla place it on. Outside the pit gates, there. former miners gathered with their families the to share a few moments of nostalgia. I'm glad I finished early on. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have dared to, to face it, you know what I mean? I've been too upset. I'm upset now uh, for some of my mates and some of the good friends I had when I were in this pit. Uh, and it's been brilliant knowing that I've done my share in this pit. Work on sinking the shaft at Bentley was completed in 1908. During its life, though, it was to see two major disasters. In 1931, 45 men lost their lives following a huge underground explosion. Then, in 1978, seven men perished when an underground paddy train ran out of control. It was that tragic but proud history that made today all the more poignant for some of those who'd spent all their working lives at the pit. I think it's actually going to devastate this area, Bentley in particular, but I think the borough of Doncaster is going to suffer on a massive scale as a result of this. At the local sports club this afternoon, a small party for some of those who'd left the pit. Many still haven't been told when they'll get redundancy payments. OK, you're getting your money, but uh, that'll only last a couple of years, and then it's only a loan from Dole from Social Security people. You know, people are sad. At the moment, they say, no, oh, great, I've got some money, but uh, it's not going to last long. A few miles away at Hatfield, the pit was also preparing to close today. There, too, the community is having to come to terms with the fact that its major employer has now gone. We, in the community at large, need to try to lift people's heads high and to help them feel a proper pride and dignity about what they've achieved for this area and for our country. Hatfield's only hope now is a bid by British Coal's former commercial director, Malcolm Edwards, who wants to take it over. So no bans or ceremonies to mark the end of mining in Doncaster today, merely a final statement from the men of Hatfield Colliery. They stated, we've toiled in the most horrendous conditions to turn our pit round and make it profitable. Exhausted and demoralised, they've taken the present, but both the past and the future belong to us, and we will jealously guard them. But unless the private bidders can persuade British Coal not to strip out pits like Hatfield, then that future itself could be in jeopardy. Kevin Hughes is the Labour MP for Doncaster North. A sad day for Doncaster, Mr Hughes. It certainly is a sad day, Harry. Uh, I can't really comprehend Doncaster not having any working coal mines. The men at Hatfield and the men at Bentley uh, are really disappointed. I've visited both of them today. Morale is really low. They feel they've done everything to keep their pits open. But of course, as we know, British Coal have decided that they're going to go. It's a sad day for the whole area. I know that you've been to see Mr Egger and also uh, I think you've been in contact with British Coal. Have you got any kind of assurance that Hatfield will not be stripped? Up to now, I've got no assurances, although I did raise this issue with Tim Edgar earlier this week because my feeling is if there are private investors that want to come and lease these two mines, the equipment should be left there for them to do that. If it isn't, then I think it's going to be very difficult for anybody in the private sector to come along and take it over. The cost will be uh, just too much, really. Is this wishful thinking on your behalf as well, on your part, that perhaps uh, a private buyer will come in, or is there just a glimmer of hope that it could actually happen? Well, there has been some interest shown. I understand from uh, in the Hatfield colliery, although nobody's contacted me about it, but I've talked to the NUM officials today, and they have been contacted by somebody who was interested in the Hatfield colliery, although I must say there's been no such interest shown as yet at Bentley. Kevin Hughes, uh, let's hope so anyway. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. A police search is underway for a man.